Hello everybody, my name is Isaac. I am now back. Now, a few things that I wanted to talk about. Um, pretty much why I've been gone and what's going on now. I got some gaming news. Uh, pretty much it's going to be that the PS4 is 1.7 patch that just got kind of announced, sub-announced today. Uh, I'll get back to that. Uh, what have I been up to? Uh, working, if you haven't checked my tweets, uh, 47 and a half hours this week, and now everything hopefully will be going back to normal. Um, uploading this, just got done with work, um, hopefully should go up tonight, oh, excuse me, <clears throat> <coughs> oh, frog in my throat, okay, um, hoping to go back to the Monday, Friday schedule, uh, uh, starting Wednesday, when that patch comes out, which it's supposed to, I guess I could just jump to the PS4 update. Let's do that, and then I'll get back to what I was going to say. Um, my resource here, I'll put a link in the description for it where I got this information. Um, I also post a picture of it here, uh, and it says, People have been waiting for the PS4 firmware update uh, 1.7 for quite a while. Uh, skim through this. Today, Sony uh, Japan announced that it will be released on April 30th, which is this coming Wednesday, five days from now, which is exciting. Uh, the biggest feature that will be added to the update is Remote Play, which will let you stream your PS4 titles on your PlayStation Vita, which the 10% of you that have the PlayStation Vita will be just thrilled with that. Uh, the next update for the console will let you stream videos at high quality, preload games, get rid of HDCP DMR, or DRM, sorry. Uh, then it's going to have this new uh, video editor called Share Factory. Uh, not really going to use it because I've got After Effects and all that stuff. And I don't know how well a free video or organizer thing, whatever, will be. Or something. I. I, I don't know. Um, I got some gameplay up, if you didn't know. I probably should have said this at the beginning. Um, Call of Duty 4, Modern Warfare, probably the game that made me get into Call of Duty. It, pro it has the most memories out of any game I've ever played in my life. Um, Alright, now back to this. Um, it's got a new option where instead of getting 15 minutes of gameplay, you get as many as you want pretty much when you hit the share button, which is awesome. Uh, another one that they had that was really, really, really exciting for me that I don't see on here is you can save screenshots and whatnot to a external hard drive, which I feel is going to be just amazing. Um, what else do I got? I think that was it for that. Pretty much, um, Wednesday I re work, so I'm not going to record then, but I don't know how I'm going to do that. I guess next month, not not this coming Monday, but next Monday will be um, a new series I'm going to start on the PS4 gameplay game that I got that I'm really excited about. I don't want to ruin it yet, because there's already so much gameplay on it, and it's a genre that I don't like at all. Uh, oh, also, the another one that excited me, the preload games. You can um, now pre-download a game when you pre-order it. So that way when it's the launch day, you can just play it instead of having to wait to download it or wait to install it or anything. It'll just be there, ready to go. Now there's some problems with that in my perspective, that when you do that, how do you know... Like, what if they tweak something or change it? Then do you have to re-download that patch? Or how is that going to work? I don't understand that part completely. Or is it going to be when it's at a, a stable point in its production that you will get to actually download it, maybe? I don't know. It doesn't really make any sense to me, but I'm sure someone's going to explain it. Um, it's also going to ha have you... Or have you... It's also going to be support... Oops, oh, wow, I cannot talk. It's also going to be MP3 supported, so you can play your uh, MP3 music. Um, hopefully, it will be like kind of like the Xbox, which was kind of broken, I have to admit. Um, 
something I'm, I'm kind of confused about with the recording. Xbox has it so you can set uh, voice chat going through the TV and your headset. Now is Sony going to do this or not? How are you going to be able to record communication if you're listening to it through your headset and having the game audio through the TV or something? How is that going to work exactly? I don't know. I haven't heard anything. I haven't seen anything. Research is really letting me down with that. That's pretty much all I got. So, I, I was able to talk for a really long time. Um, though anyway, I will talk to you guys on Monday. Uh, have a fantastic day, and I will see you later. Bye. <laughs> what? I just got into a car and all of a sudden everybody's on me. <laughs> 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 <laughs>